Make it miss. As Matt was telling you earlier, recreate the fault. What's the customer complaint? You need to duplicate that fault in your testing methods. Otherwise, you might miss it. All right, let's keep moving. All right, this one has a video that uh, accompanies it. Uh, how to find a short. So this is the video title. Um, how to find a sorted coil on a Ford 5.4 engine. This is a misfire diagnosis. There's the link. But if you typed in that, it would take you to this video. And we're not going to watch the video. Maybe a piece of it. But uh, here's what I got on this truck. What's this mean? <laughs> yeah. Somebody erased them. So I'm losing before I, I even began. Somebody was in here, cleared the codes. What's that mean about my mode six data? You ain't it's not gonna be there. Let's, let's do it, right? Generic functions. I'm gonna follow the same path. Uh, onboard monitored system, mode six. Scrolling through the data. Uh, can't see the top ones. I'm missing one and two. They were zero, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Look, all zero, 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 zero. So if you wipe out the codes, what else are you wiping out? Mode six data. We don't want to do that. What am I doing? Pulling the fuse out for the ignition coils. I'm going to do the same thing. Okay. Put my amp clamp around my jumper wire. I want to read all eight coils from the fuse box. I'm doing this one differently. I'm using a different sink this time. I used the secondary sink on the last one. What am I using for this one? I have a T-pin, I'm back probing one coil and I'm using cylinder one on the primary side as my sink. It's a more stable sink and I can do it that way. I chose to pick this one to show you different ways to synchronize these waveforms. Okay, I'm using the primary now. Similar looking waveform than what we, saw in the last one, okay? The green trace down here is the primary. The next green trace, primary again, this would be 720. If I did this right, I should have eight ramps in here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, back to one. Let's zoom in on that, get some uh, detail. Oh, by the way, with this one, what else can we look for in here? if we're doing a misfire diagnosis. This one has a constant miss, by the way. What else can we look for in here? We look for, uh, I'm gonna come back to this, hang on. We're gonna look for that. Yeah. I will treat this differently than we will in the case study that we're doing. I see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven in a gap, and then it repeats itself. I have a missing ramp here. We'll handle that one differently. But those are things we want to look for. Are they all firing is the question. Are all eight coils having control signals being turned on and turned off? That, the answer is yes. But let's, let's zoom in now and take a look at the detail of this. So there's a better zoomed view. Um, and, and I can point out to you um, well, there's the firing order too, which helps. One, three, seven, two, six, five, four, eight. So I'm triggered off number one. And so it's not a coincidence that the number one primary, this is primary, the green trace of the number one primary voltage we're looking at would correspond exactly with the current coming from the fuse box, right? When we turn it on, Voltage drops is the exact time current flows. So this is my number one ramp from the fuse box. Now plug in your firing order. One, three, seven, two, six, five, four, and eight. I don't like this guy. We need to zoom in a little bit more on him, okay? You might not be able to see that going into this, but looking back on it, that's evident to me of a problem. Let's go in and look at that guy. Three ramps, because it's a multi-strike system. I don't like this. That's not what it should look like. It should look like this, okay? But it looks like that. What's the problem? Shorted primary, shorted secondary? secondary. Very good. This is a shorted secondary. This coil is shorted, okay? There's a, I want to put an asterisk here that this, there's a variable to that. And we can have, when we say shorted secondary, I always leave it at that, shorted secondary. What are we talking about? The coil itself, a shorted wire, shorted plug. I got burned by this before, saying, oh, that's a shorted 
that's a sorted secondary. It needs a coil. And the reason why I've done so many of these now, especially on Fords, that's what this car needed, guys. It, it needed, a, it needed an, an ignition coil. It was bad, sorted. But I've gotten burned by this. It is a sorted secondary, a sorted primary on these. I have one coming up, uh, looks completely different. And one of the keys too, which is hard to tell, is this a straight up line? It's really not, it's, it's an arc and I'm just zoomed out too far. If I would zoom in one more level, you would see that there's an arc here, a ramp telling us the primary is not sorted and the missing oscillations and the characteristic of the waveform is one that this is a, this is a shorted secondary. The other answer to that is the height of this. I don't have the scales, I realize that, but look at the difference between the bad one and the good one, and I'm using the same scales. So if my primary is shorted, my amperage is always higher than normal, uh, and that's not what we're seeing here. This is a shorted secondary. This needs a coil, okay? Shorted secondary. Um, let me skip past this one for a sec. I wanna go to this one. I, I, I got burned by this. It's, one, it's a single slide example. Car comes in from the garage down the road, has a dead miss. I can hear it, I can feel it. I, I'm teaching ignition systems to my class and I decided that uh, I would do a primary waveform analysis like we're doing now just so I could teach that method. This is a known good cylinder. This is a known bad, the one that's misfiring. What does that look like to you? Looks just like our last one that needed an ignition coil. So I put a coil in it, car still had a miss. And I, I screwed up, I, you know, this is where you get on the phone, you call the customer, it needs an ignition coil. And then you probably sold the customer in the process of this, you probably sold the customer all the plugs too. I know I would, let's do all the plugs in one coil. That's what this needs, this one coil is shorted. So um, I move further and pull the plug out after I still realize I have a misfire on this cylinder. What do I see? Yeah, well, do you notice the positive electrode here is smashed into the negative? Is that a shorted secondary on a, on a coil unplug system? And so if the secondary winding is shorted, it will look like that because that ring isn't there. We just dumped that energy right to ground. Got here, I screwed up because this car has no compression in this cylinder. It dropped a valve and I missed it. What did I sell the customer? Now in, in, in the field, plugs and a coil. I mean, a couple hour job at least. Uh, I don't know how much money, I'm just hypothetically, maybe they spent 500, $600 plus the diagnosis only to find out when you're done. Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Customer. You have a compression problem, you need engine work. Do, I'm pointing this out because I want to be clear when you see this kind of waveform that I always use the term shorted secondary and then I end it because I don't say shorted secondary winding in the ignition coil because a shorted spark plug can look the same thing, look like the same thing as a shorted secondary winding in the ignition coil. So can a shorted plug wire. Now, are there variables to that? Yes, there are. Because if it is a waste spark system with two plug wires and two spark plugs, so here's a wire, here's a wire, here's my coil, here's a plug and a plug. If this plug is smashed, does this one still have an air gap? Remember, it's a continuous loop. And so a, a smashed spark plug on one of these would not look like this. We would still have a normal looking ramp because the other plug has a gap and it's preventing that energy from being dumped off when we're turning it on. That's what causes these weird looking ramps, okay? Coil on plug system with a single plug. Yeah, a single plug can look like a shorted secondary winding. It's not a bad coil. I got burned on that. That's why I wanted to point it out to you. This is all analysis from the fuse box, which is super cool. So those circumstances, what we can only really narrow it down to is, is it is a secondary fault, which would still require further investigation. Yes, and I like that. You added further investigation in the last uh, thing that you had said, and so what I would do from here uh, is to determine if it was a plug or a coil, is I'd, I'd pull the coil, maybe swap the coil with a known good or swap the plugs too, because not all the plug visually, visual inspections of a spark plug are not always evident. 
And so that's perfectly acceptable methods, moving plugs, moving coils. And in this case, I should have just cranked it and did a cranking compression test before I did anything, but I got lost in teaching and I, I had forgot my steps is what happened here. I was teaching ignition systems. Hey, there's a van with a misfire. We just got done going through all this. Let's troubleshoot it. Oh, classic view, sorted coil. Put the coil in it, whoops. Still looks like that. That's probably the new coil. Now it's a case study. Lesson learned.